Welcome back everybody, my name is Chad Wilson from Simple Cloudware and today we're going to be talking about our Angular project which we're hosting in our Azure storage and how we connect it to our function. Keep your head in the cloud. Combining storage and functions is absolutely essential to create a tiered application which will automatically scale. This is actually the magic of the cloud. We've gotten completely away from the old generation thinking of servers and apps on servers and uh, creating load balancers and all of this madness which is totally expensive and hard to maintain and keep going, especially when you need to start scaling. So now we're relying on the pure cloud storage and functions to do this for us. And it is almost free. Let's continue. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is switch out our URI and our code to the function that we've just created. And remember this code is located in the function in the Azure portal. Without it, it's not going to work. And then we're going to do the ng build to get our uh, new set of JavaScript files. So we're just going to type this out and uh, let it compile. And once we uh, uh, have this compile, the next step that we're going to do is we're going to log in to our Azure account and then we're going to publish to the storage straight out of VS Code, which makes it uh, really convenient when you are uh, creating these projects. It's better than doing kind of the cut and paste into the to the browser sort of thing. Okay, so it's compiled. So let's come up here and uh, find our um, Azure sign-in. And then it'll just be the, the, the current sign-in for this. And then it's just going to walk us through this uh, normal sign-in uh, process in which we use for uh, any type of uh, access to Microsoft. You're just going to choose your logins, and here we go. And then once you're, you're signed in to VS Code, then you just close this browser tab and it transfers that sign up right into VS Code. So now that we're signed in, you can see uh, your email here on the bottom. Then you can right click on the disk folder and you can deploy. And then it'll choose the uh, bucket that we created when we did it manually. And it gives you the warning and then what it does is it erases everything and then sends up your files directly from uh, the directory. Directly from the directory. So now we can uh, browse over here and uh, while that's building, uh, set up the cores uh, that you're going to need as part of uh, the function because your storage cannot directly call your uh, function without the cores set up. So we just go over here to platform features and then you'll see the cores and then you add in the URL minus the last slash. And then don't forget to push save. Cool. And sometimes it takes a, a couple minutes for this to take effect. So uh, when you uh, do this uh, browse to website, it doesn't come up immediately. Uh, that may be the problem. But what we're looking at with this, actually, um, if it can't find any of the files, you have to go to your Angular JSON, and you can search for dis. And what we see here is the default creates a folder, um, which you're not going to use as part of the uh, promotion to your Azure storage. So you got to knock that out and then rebuild it. So it's a common mistake. So it's good that we're kind of getting into it because it can be kind of confounding that you push publish and then it's still broken. So 
just go over here to your angular JSON. And then we're just rebuilding it. And you do need to rebuild it so it knocks that folder out of the disk on, the, on your local drive. So we're just gonna wait for this to finish. All right. So now we do once again, right click on disk, deploy, pick your bucket and delete and deploy. So now that we've knocked this folder out, we should be fine. And this promotion process, uh, depending on how big your project is, can take several minutes. But since this is just such a small project, it's pretty quick. All right, here we go. So now we can browse and it looks like it's bringing it up. Yep, great. So now we'll use our API test, which always comes in handy. And uh, we are now, let's see, let's uh, hit it another time. Perfect, so we have the here, which means that we have connected. Congratulations, we've gotten into the nitty gritty details of how we configure our Angular app and set up cores on our function so we can connect these two tiers together. This gives us the ability to create applications at scale for pennies a day. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to join the community. And click the like button so that people just like you can find this video. Questions, comments, suggestions, please write them below. And remember, keep your head in the clouds.